Well, actually, systems, a dynamically sharing system. We, 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 we reuse the spectrum that's available in the outside world. Um, we have, we, we take these quick rockets and measurements, and we've shown that even though the fixes are allocated, most of it actually is available as white spaces. So the fixes is unoccupied. And we reuse that fixie that's un, not pleasantly occupied, and we put our signal in, in that spectrum. We use the 802.16 signal, and we frequency translate that to the 225 to 600 megahertz band. That's the current frequency band we use. Um, the signal is about 1.75 megahertz wide, and we remove that into the band and choose a fixie that is available. When a primary exists on that channel, we vacate that channel and we use another channel. We have more than one actually radio and they negotiate where to move to. So if, it's, if any radio sees a signal a primary show up, they negotiate amongst themselves to find a new fix to use and they all vacate and move to that new fix seat and reestablish the communication. That happens if we, we vacate within a half second, the negotiation happens within a half second. Um, we also can allow ourselves to adapt the, adapt, adapt the bandwidth. If we have more bandwidth available, we can make our signal a wider bandwidth and, and, and that way have more throughput through that, the, the, the radios. We've operated with more than one XG network, next system. We work in pairwise and also in uh, star, star you know, and spoke network system. We have base station and five or so subscribers. They all interoperate together. Um, in our system we have shows that how we lay on the hardware and, and we're moving toward uh, this, this, this right here. Where this is the R part, the R part of the transceiver. This covers this plasma will cover 225 to 600 megahertz. We have different RF cars for different bands, so we can cover all the way up to 4.9 gigahertz. Um, this is our, our, our digital car. Inside here, there's, there's actually an 16 chip set, and also our detector, which is a DSP. The, the top layer is our processing, the processing for our algorithms and for policy. We can control it remotely through the Ethernet, we can play a laptop, but we use the RF, RF to antennas. And so this is our self-contained XG system. Um, and this is what we're moving toward, and we'll have this in a few, few, few months. So this, this is a, a plot of the spectrum occupancy at the Conrad building here in Ireland. Um, there, this right here is a fixie axis. This is the power level. It's a max hole plot. So over a 40 hour duration, we capture energy over these fixies. And this is the maximum energy we see over these fixies. You can see that most of it actually is a low power level. So these fixies are actually available to use. They're unavailable, they're actually white space. This plot shows the same thing, but in time right here, time on the y axis. And you can see it's mostly white in color. So that shows that basically this, this time right here, you can use that fixie over the whole 40 hour period. This fixie is over, over the 440 hour period. And sometimes the other frequencies have been used, but interspersed, you get to share your frequencies. And we did this for other, other bands, and you see for other bands, there's also a lot of white space and, and periodic, you know, the signal here, there's, there's a big gap right there, this white space.